My name is Fiona Stanton from Feast Papercraft and today I'm just going to quickly show you how to put together one of the cards from the um, uh, July 2020 class in a box uh, class. We're using the Boho Indigo product medley from Stampin' Up. You've had an overview of that medley already so I'm just going to go straight ahead. First of all I want to explain a couple of things. Um, I've replaced the sentiment on this gold shaped piece to one just stitched rectangulars mainly because there's only two of these pieces in the kit so i won't have enough to send out to everybody to have big enough space to stamp the sentiment and secondly i'm not gonna on my original one i went around the edges with the champagne shimmer paint or shimmer mist and i'm not too keen on it so i'm not going to do it this time so i've already pre-embossed my uh knight of navy cardstock with the ornate floral 3d embossing folder so that's done so I'm just going to layer that onto my um, card with a little bit of glue. I hear the dogs barking outside. I'm doing this late at night. Oh, is this glue going to work? Probably not. I always pick the one that doesn't work. There we go, that's better. So a little bit of glue and layer this on. Then I'm going to stamp my sentiment in Knight of Navy. Um, I like the Boho Indigo set because it is just... Oh, sorry. My camera is on the desk. Probably not a good idea, but hey-ho. So let's just get that stamped. A bunch of birthday love to you. As I was saying, I like the Boho Indigo set because it is... Um, two colours. I like it when it's simple. I get very confused when there's lots of colours. So um, I do like it. Um, I do. I think it's just a very classic, very classy looking set. So that's why I like it. Now obviously I can't send out stamped images. So you'll need to stamp your own image or buy the medley. The medley is beautiful. Um, you get a lot in it. I've had the overview so I won't go through it again. Um, but you get stamps, dies, ribbon, die cuts, embossed, these dry embossed sheets which are beautiful which I'm just going to layer up onto here. So my gold backing, in the notes you'll get all the measurements um, for everything but basically the card piece, or the dry embossed very vanilla piece is uh, 3 by 4 and 3 quarter inches and then the gold outline is very small it's three and one sixteenth by four and um 13 sixteenths so it's literally just one sixteenth bigger on the outside but i like to have tight um now what should i do first let's see so i've got my vases cut out you get these little vases that's very sweet so let's see we're gonna layer them up on dimensionals I like dimensionals and then I've got um, these gold leaves which come which are part of the die set and I'm just going to put these in so so what I did actually let me just leave these on here for a minute so I'm making sure I've got a gap in the middle where I can put stems. Um, but what I actually did was kind of stuck them down before I put the vases on. And it seemed to work at the time. Whether it will work a second time, we don't know. But I might try it. Just put a little bit of tape. I might need a bit more than that. Because I find glue gets quite messy when you're trying to fill around with these small bits. So I find a little bit of tape, a little bit more, not too much more, that's probably too much now isn't it, that should be alright. Always difficult to get in the backing off when you need it, I'm just going to roll that back a bit. So then I'm just going to put these on 
I'll start with this one. I hope this works. Try and get it on straight. Now you know me, I don't do anything straight. That would be too boring, wouldn't it? I suppose it ought to look like it's coming out the vast top. Let's put that on a little bit higher. I've not got that one straight, have I? No, I've pushed it down. Well, it's not. Oh, that one's not attached now. There it goes, attached now. There we go. So, right. right. For me, that's good. I believe that. Right, let's glue the sentiment on. You could raise that up. I mean, you now the gold foiling adds something, but unfortunately, if you buy the kit, then you would have it in there. And just that's, I think, a rather elegant birthday card. Just try and get that on straight. There we go. And that is the two cards. Thank you.